Oh, we're starting. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, happy Easter. Um, happy Passover. Um, so let's start off with a little Passover note. Okay. I should be crying right now because my most favorite program to watch every single year is Moses. But for the second year in a row, I don't have a television. Um, one of the reasons, and the, the basic reason I'm going to give you because I don't want anybody to feel any different about me, is that I took it away, my my television, because I was actually paying the bill for no reason, and I really had no reason for the TV, you see, because the problem with the TV is you need time to sit in front of it, and I'm not delegating my time in that fashion to put towards the TV. Um, whatever I desire to search and seek out, I will do right here as I am doing right in front of you right now online. This is not me, and I never thought about this. When I first got my computer, it was the first thing I was thought was, okay, let's play a little bit of Hold'em. <clears throat> well, I've branched out into my life from playing Hold'em live online to playing Hold'em and actually being able to have the winning hand. My winning hand is here. See, the game we play is a long game. Okay, the buck only ends when you're dead. And I'm alive enough to be able to support the word of liberty amongst the people and the reason why and not only that to gain confidence back in who we are knowing one of the reasons that there is a God or a creator here find a reason and a belief to live now because your your liberties are being taken away and now you have a reason to live because you know you want your liberty so now you have figured out what love is all about it's connecting with those who want the same thing and also the life obligations that we live amongst each other so we have to find a way that we can live amongst each other and it's an obligation is it an obligation it's not an obligation um, it's probably like it's in the Torah it's in the Bible and for all you atheist people out there um, if you have friends then you already know if you like friends, then it's good to communicate, and that's the basic setup of the Creator. Now, if you don't think there's a heaven after that, that's fine for you, but abide by what the libertarian laws should be, and that is the um, freedom from within. We can act upon knowing and understanding that others might not actually like what we're doing, regardless of what it is. We have to become smarter people. We won't lose our libertarians again, and we'll be able to speak out and will be able to gather to oust he who should not be there. There shouldn't be anybody in the world. Should we police the world for liberty in the whole world? I feel that's something we sort of have to do. But how do you spread it into a country when they turn on the computer, they don't see anything but the government's face? I want to settle out the whole thing. This is not just about you and me in North America or in France or Africa. It's about the entire world. We must all be free. I think that's what the Creator or God wants us to do. He wants to make sure we get everybody free, so we got to learn how to figure out how do we talk. What do we say? What do we say that convinces the next person? Okay, because some of these people like power, some of these people like money. You got to convince them they can still have it and these people can have the liberties if you set it upright. Because it's not whoever's in office now, it's your children who will be there after. So these people will be out of the office, but if the next one comes in and still set up the same system, we're not going to get a better system. So we have to learn how to talk, to speak. Other people have to learn. And we have to teach the world. Slowly they have to see what it's all about. And they have to hear. And then our money, the way our money is going to be spread around. I mean, I don't know which, which way to look at this. I wrote a few things down that, again, and this is about the 10th time I mentioned the same thing. Here in Quebec, there's about 10% 10, 10 on welfare. Even if there's not, it's a, it's a very good number. Okay, and 10% are on unemployment. All un unemployment should be made sure that all businesses that exist here or that sell here, okay, pay enough money so these people that get on unemployment for 8, 9, 10, 12, 15 months that it actually should be, nobody should be wired down for three months. You can't even get a home in three months, let alone the government prepare for something telling us it's eight years, but they expect everybody to do it in 60 to 90 days. It just doesn't make any sense. Why is it good for one and proper that one can? While they see the other one is struggling, they cannot. We need to make good decisions in life. Therefore, we need the time, okay, to be able to make the proper judgment to enact these proper decisions in life. If you see, it's all upon, uh, before the action, it's all in the mind and what the mindset is going to do before it causes the action 
and the reaction through thought into what his future move will be. Okay, now businesses, I think, should continuously putting money back into the system. Got to be continuous and more. We're not supposed to grow by millions because, like I said before, once gro one grows by millions, okay, he's taken away the, the money from something below because we're only living above our means. We only buy the groceries for one week. You know what I'm saying? We're not buying for eight, ten months. It's not like you go into the fields. Listen to this. Listen to this one family, this one Mennonite family. There are 35 of them. They take up a farm of above uh, 300 acres. And they grow everything, and they make bread, and they use hemp, and they use hemp to make everything. They have their own fuel. Um, they've really constructed their own way to do it. You know what I'm saying? We can be self-sufficient. We don't need these big companies from other places. We are just throwing ourselves. If we don't have the product here, maybe we shouldn't have the product here. What is the dearest that we should have the product here? What is it? Because our product is so inferior to everybody else's product. But every time you buy from somewhere else, okay, no matter where it is, there's always a tax. So that has to come back. But if it's a store sitting on our land, I mean, the internet is something different. You know what I'm saying? If there's a tax, we'll get that sales tax. But still, when the big company like Walmart makes money, where does all their money come to? How much do we get back? Are we, we getting back a good enough percentage to be able to pay for the welfare people, for the ones who can't work? Why spend all those money to get those welfare people off it? Let them on their stuff. What's the difference to you? You always know that money's going to be spent somewhere. They're not running across the border, you know. So they get 10, 12,000. They're here. We don't have to worry about them. They're not on the streets. They're not criminals. You take the money away from them. They don't have anything. Well, therefore, we have to regulate how many babies we're going to have and how many people can come into this province. If we can't facilitate for the people, then we shouldn't have the babies. What are we doing? I mean, we're grown-ups now. What does God want? Well, God wants like this, and I'm back to the homosexual lesbian thing again. Okay? All God wants from the homosexuals and lesbian, he wants one thing for them. Okay? Adopt a child. Or have a child and bring it into your relationship. But I say adopt a child. Everybody. Every child needs a family. I don't care if it's two men and a man and a woman or whatever. You know what it is? Things change and things in the universe change. And they're not always the same. And you see, when we go back to who we actually are within the mind, okay, before we process into our next world, we have no sex at all. So forever, whatever you want to talk about sex right now, talk all you want. But it only exists right here, right now, what we're doing. But the actual mind, the sexuality to your mind, has nothing to do with who you're sleeping with. It has to do whether the combination, the numbers between the two, they coincide to filtrate with each other. That's their love. That's the greatest love in the world. It's a perfect love because every number counts. Whatever number you get, that's the position you're in. Anyways, another thing I want to um, show you, um, I'm going to try and design it, look for it over here, is that there's 225 years in two years, okay, based on the year here, 5775 out of the dice cube. There's 225 years missing to get to 6,000. Then Noah, the boat, that was 7,000 years ago. So there's another 1,000 missing. So one of the places that that thousand is missing, okay, for Noah, is, um, how can I, I'm going to try and show you this here, is that in the center of time, 2, 5, and 8, okay, the M letter creates 1,000. The V that's between both sides, but we never calculate the last M, or the W, upside down. I'm going to try to explain to you what this is. Is it's Two worlds up, one world down. Or if it's two worlds up, one world down, and one world this way. Okay? Because automatically when you make the secondary world, when man is created, his opposite is created. So that's two worlds. It's boom, boom. Um, so what I was going to say is that when that M is created, it creates a 7. Now you've got 7,000 years. Now we have a problem again. Because Mr. Tackpans is 7286. What do we do to get that other 286 years? What do we do?
To bring 86 to a 1010 is 24. Okay, that's why it says 7286. But 7286 should actually say 7225. And why it should say 7225 is because the 27th letter in between A and Z, okay, is the Y. And the Y of man between angel and man is the 25th letter. And the 25th letter is also Y, but it's Y inside the alphabet that builds up the separation between man and angel and the heavens and the earth whichever one you want to use, so it'll be 72. But 7286 is a complete combination, but I still have to say it still has to go to 7286. So what we would do is since we were missing 225 years before, we're going to put another 225 years after, and you would have 7225 less the difference between the two, okay, which is 61. And 61 is the six islands of the one spirit of man. And that's why the number is 7286. And that 27. Okay, um, what we're going to go to next is, um, um, I'm, try I'm trying to make the difference over here. Uh, just give me a second, I'm thinking. June 4th, no, excuse me, June 12th, okay, um, I forget what your name is again. I keep forgetting all the time. But June 12th is the last day of the year that you can double that doesn't arrive into the next year, nor does it arrive in a month that doesn't exist. For example, if you take July, it's the seventh month. Two times seven is 14. There is no 14th month. But actually, the 14th month would be February, and that's a month of passage. But anyways, what it comes out to... is December 24th, just before Christ is born. The sixth month becomes the 12th month. The 12th day becomes the 24th day. It's the last day of the year, this guy who came in. And the numbers he's associated with is 1, 3, 9, and 7. See the way the board works? It's 4 times 5 because you have to make a box, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, that's what it is. Once you got A, B, C, the creation is the D. So D is in the primary world. So the complete bunch of them ends up in the center. Okay, what else did I want to say? Um, so I was talking about all these people and the businesses, but I didn't finish with the numbers yet. What I want to show you now is 9-11. For a couple of people who asked me, do I know anything about 9-11? Well, the American flag setup of the stars is set up in formation of 50 stars of 11 by nine. Can you get with me now? The star formation is set up 11 by nine, nine by 11. And one of the reasons for that is because between each star, there's a space before the next star actually shows up. So I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six stars, right? But we're going to start again. One star, one space. One star, one space. One star, one space. One star, one space. Is the space relevant? It sure is. When you go down a level, there's a star there. They separated all the stars. So let's count the spaces up at top. One, two, three, four, five. Six stars. One, two, three, four, five. Thirty stars. Creation is what it expresses right on the outside. Okay, now if you use the bottom stars, right? How can I use this? I'm going to go down at the bottom here and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And the second level is one, two, three, four, five. Five by six is 30. Five and six is 11 equals 41. And that's the Mediterranean. We'll always go back to the Mediterranean. I'm going to show you a picture soon on how the Mediterranean comes back. And you know where it ends up to be the Mediterranean? Cut your head off. It's right there, the Mediterranean. Because when you take the letters, okay, E N, uh, E N W, and then go to number 32, and then go to number 41, well, the 41st one, okay, is the Mediterranean. And it all has to do with the letter E. It's the E world, the E passage. It's the center of your telephone. It's the sidewalls. It's 258. Two, 
force five six. That's what it is. So what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to continue along. Okay, and count them again. Six five is eleven. Six five is eleven. Six five is eleven. Six five is eleven. Okay, so we get it. There's a total of fifty stars. Now count this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So stars in space is total eleven. Now we're going to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine by eleven. This star formation. So there you go. Another nine eleven scenario. I must have put together about twenty of them already. Um, where another thing is, um, I never really showed anybody, but the six dice with the one dice, it says Ohio. Because you can run a formation on the outside, as long as you don't go inside, because there is no spirit, so you can run the outside. And this one too, the outside, it just so happens that this is six man, and you end up with 545, five, which is the foxhole of love. A total of 14. The Mediterranean 41 it says Ohio I have to understand that there's something about this there's a song about Ohio blowing up and every time I hear that song I just keep thinking hmm is it gonna be true is it gonna be true so now you see the way the stars are all set up uh, um, I'm gonna look at this we spoke about that uh, yeah I'm fooling around with you guys I don't I mean I may mention these things about sexuality but I'm just trying to show you that um, in this world here, liberty and certain people's freedoms and what actually God thinks himself, his liberty, it's all up to us to decide amongst ourselves um, what things are actually really inside liberty. So, I mean, this is a test planet. It's a test world. And that's why we're here, basically. Otherwise, uh, I guess we wouldn't really be here. There wouldn't be a reason for it. This is all about everybody having some sort of reason all the time, right? Sometimes it's okay to be wrong, and sometimes it's good if you just don't get into the situation because sometimes it's fun just to listen to watch everybody else bang their head when it's so much easier than that. Um, another thing I keep mentioning, who should be paying for hospitals, who should be paying for roads, should these big businesses be giving back most of their money? Will they take off? What happens if we stop buying things in certain places? What's going to happen? I'll tell you what happens. If you do things slowly and change over your own way, uh, and other people see it, it works, maybe they're going to want to do it. Maybe they're going to ask you, hey, what would you do to make it work? How come you don't need us anymore? And, you know, the whole world's going to just have to reform itself until we can live within this whole world. That's what it's actually all. It's not all that hard. It really is not. I think some people are so scared not to have any money, and, and just in case they get sick, they're, they're, they're going to be strangled. And in the new world, it wouldn't be like that because there'd be an obligation that this person has money that he doesn't have to go into work. And at some point, we are getting three, six, and eight weeks of vacation, or 10 and 12 weeks vacation a year as we get to certain ages. And uh, if we want to take it, most of us are dedicated to our work anyways, whether we like it or not, and we wouldn't take it anyways. The next thing I want to jump to is um, if I calculated correctly, this year started on a Sunday. So if it starts on a Sunday, it finishes, it should finish. I, if I might correct, did it finish on a Saturday? No, this year finishes on, hold it. Let me, oh no, I got the wrong year. This year finishes on a Monday. Like I said, so the extra day that there is in the year, because a perfect year is actually 364 days, so that would be 366, 365, 364. It should have ended on a Saturday, but it's going to end on a Monday, which what that means is that there is... Uh, 50, if I'm correct, there might be 50, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, 54 Sundays this year. Okay, now I hope, I could be wrong, it can't be 54, it's got to be maximum 53. 53 Sundays, 52 Saturdays, what the hell is going on? 53, Sat 53 Sundays, 52 Saturdays, 105 uh uh, weekend days and 261 weekdays if I'm not I could be wrong but irrelevant to the fact whether I'm wrong or not that if you would take five of these dice like the five days of the week you would get a total the same total 105 as the number of week end days weekdays 
because five is alpha. And if you turn the five around, it looks like a two, which is beta. She only gets the two days. That's the way it is. Um, so let me see into this. Did I have anything else here? Um, oh my God, these cats! I got to get rid of them. This is just so terrible. I don't really have much. I didn't really write much. What's here? The nine lives, the 225 years, the reason why. Anyways, I guess we're going to finish it up. Uh, will I mention Ron Paul? Um, I have an obligation to mention Ron Paul. I watched a couple of videos, listened to a couple of people speak, looked at a couple of comments, people telling me I'm crazy. And um, you know what? This is... Uh, I'm only 48, but it's got to be about 30 years, oh, for sure. Since the first day I saw somebody lying on the side of the street that couldn't fix himself, first time I saw people in New York City that, that they were having fights all over the place, and there were so many of these ugly things I saw in life, I couldn't handle it. And today is the only time I get out here to speak my word, and I'm going to follow a guy like Ron Paul because you can't mess up. Worst comes to worst, you give the feds nothing. But if you fit, give the feds nothing, they're going to be like the, like, like, oh my God, like snakes. They'll be all over the place. If you think we're going to have a bad time now, imagine if they came out and they were the uh, actual uh, USALPLO. Be sick, eh? Even with Paul, we're in a little bit of danger. I always got to mention a little bit of this. Um, he's doing pretty good. I have new results uh, in for the end of one month. My last month just ended that I that I watch for my commentary and everything. And I am at a total of uh, uh, 79 over 21, which is 79 Ron Paul 21. Uh, because I'm getting whoever doesn't like me, they're always leaving me on a Ron Paul thing, so I basically know what it is. So even if I'm off by 15%, I'm still up to 64%, but that's okay. Um, what else do I have to say? Not very much. Not really in a confused mind, but I feel like I am in a confused mind. Um, oh, yes, there was one thing my brother in law mentioned to me why September uh, sounds like seven in French and why October should be octagon and that's eight. Well, in September, which is the scepter of the king, and it is the gateway to the two heavens, and in that gateway is the 15, which is the total, which is the egg, okay, the 15th letter in the alphabet. But at the same time, making note that 15 does stand out, we will separate the 5 from the 10, and the 10 will be the 10th letter for the J letter, and the 5 letter would be the E letter for the E world. You put them together in French, and it says, I, I am Raphael7286. Thank you.